Hi everyone, my name is Aviv Degani, a cloud solution architect in Edap. And today we're going to talk about how to achieve zonal protection for your files and block devices on the Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so today you don't have any real good solution to achieve zonal protection on your Google Cloud Platform for your NFS and SMB shares and for your block disks, unless you have CVOHA. And you can see in the architecture right here, we're deploying two sets of virtual machines on two different zones, and we're synchronously replicating the data on a block level between the two. It's a shared NAS and architecture that allow us to meet any zonal failure. The front-end traffic is being distributed by an internet load balancer, which makes failures as seamless as possible. The mediator in the middle part of the diagram is the component that is responsible for the automatic failover of the storage, but anyway, let's jump into the demo. Okay, okay so this is my HA cluster. If we enter the working environment, you can see I have a couple of volumes. And let's click on the HA status to validate the condition we're at. You can see with that we have three nodes deployed, each one of them on a different zone, right? 1B, 1C, and 1D, according to our best practices. Go back to the volume for a second, and let's have a look at our mount command. As you can see that we're at 068, and this is the volume name. We will move to the console. You can see that we use two different clients to test our failover, and the HA I just showed you, right? This is the CLI of the ONTOP cluster, and I'll just do a statistics show periodic command to see that we're actually pushing data to the HA cluster. Okay, no data is actually pushed. So you can see under the total received, it's around 15K per second. Now, let's validate that we're actually using the shared volume. Okay, and let's create a file. Right away on the left side, you can see that the total traffic has jumped to about 200 megabytes per second, which by the way, this is the limit of our weakest instance, right? We can actually deploy much stronger clusters and to achieve much better performance. But anyway, currently pushing data from two different clients. You can see the rate right here. Now let's go to the console and just turn off one of the nodes. This is the primary node. And if we'll turn it off from the console side, that will simulate a real disaster of an entire zonal failure, right? Our system is not aware that someone clicked on, on the console. From our side, it's like a zonal disaster right now. So let's give it a second to turn off. You can see the command are still running. Reconnect to the cluster itself. and run the same statistics, statistics command I just showed you. Traffic has been halted because we're actually doing the failover as we speak. But it's under 60 seconds, so any NFS client should meet that requirement. It should continue non-disruptively, right? Let's give it a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Bingo. Okay, so as you can see, the traffic has resumed without any issue whatsoever. The clients are still pushing data. It will refresh the display and go to the HA status. already see the icon color has been changed so that means that we can spot it node one is off the second node is during the takeover and the cluster is not highly available cool so now let's turn it on that action will take a few seconds but after that the cluster will actually self-heal itself for about five minutes before initiate the give back. 
that's okay yeah, I'll just keep that five minutes uh, and in the meanwhile I'll play with the CLI you know why not I like playing with CLI who doesn't right and the give back has been completed the cluster should be healthy right now so let's go back to cloud manager and validate that cool a little refresh can go a long way and on 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 the cluster is healthy HS status is on beautiful I'm not sure if it's sorcery or not but works like a charm thank you for watching peace